Hey, you hoopers out there, it's Steve Carfino bringing you the wrap. Very interesting, a lot of movement in the ladder with the finals just around the corner. Let's start with the youth divisions, as usual, brought to you by BNSW Campus. Let's start with Youth Division Men's. Division 2, that is. The Manly Seagulls went down the Sydney Uni Lions over the weekend. After putting up 20 points on the board in the first quarter, the Lions' second half effort securing the win for the home side, James Andrews led all scorers on 28. Although the Seagulls didn't leave the weekend empty-handed, defeating the Hornsby Spiders at home on Saturday in their weekend double. The Central Coast Waves kept their form strong, heading into the finals, defeating the Sydney Comets at home. Sashin Thapa was best on court for the Waves, with Connor Miller for the Comets in a close second. While the Hills Hornets retained their position on the ladder with a comfortable win over the Hawkesbury Jets, the Penrith Panthers also picked up two points in their local derby with the Scorchers. All right, with those results, now let's check out and see how it affects the ladder. Now, Division I Youth Women. The Norse Bears are a perfect four from four after defeating one of the competition leaders, the Penrith Panthers, at home on Sunday. The Bears win in every quarter, taking the claws out of their opponent. Kirsten Vercel and Ellie Carroll combined for 48 points for the home side. In a battle of fourth versus fifth, the Manly Seagulls have not only been able to get a win at home, but also retain the position on the competition ladder. Manly held the Spiders just five points in the first quarter, winning three out of four quarters. Kimberly Hodge, Caitlin Castle, and Antonia Henderson put the work in for the home side. The Central Coast Crusaders have been able to continue their hot streak, getting their seventh straight win this weekend. With the rest of the weekend seeing Hills and Sutherland pick up the win. Now let's see how the ladder falls in this division. One youth men's. Blacktown racked up another big number to beat Penrith, and the Storm had five players scoring double figures. Penrith held off Norse, who scored 35 points in the fourth quarter, but it wasn't enough with Penrith picking up the road win. Manly remained the only team the Bulls haven't beaten, five Seagulls scoring in double figures. The Comets are red hot. Adrian Cabrera was a beast with 27 points to lead the scoring for his team, and four other teammates were in double figures. Maitland reclaimed the Hunter region. Bankstown did the Inner West and Maitland a favor with just a few weeks to go before the finals when they defeated the Storm. Norse get the split for the weekend. Reggie Ridland with 21 points, including five three-pointers, and Matthew Mahone with 43 big ones in their road win. The Sharks shoot the lights out against the Magic. Alex Shepard and Jai Thomas combined for 46. Penrith put Maitland at an arm's length from the postseason with their win over the Mustangs. That's some close games this weekend. Now let's have a look at the ladder. In Division I Women's. With the competition leaders, the Wagga Blaze, having a bye this weekend, the second-place gold miners keep up appearances downing the Shoalhaven Tigers at home. Tegan Burke and Rachel Murray combining for 48 big ones. While the Maitland Mustangs made easy work of the Inner West Bulls, winning every single quarter, Carly Grayson was best on court with 24 points. The Coffs Harbor Suns were able to crack the century against the Tamworth Thunderbolts on the road. The Suns with six players scoring in double figures, although no one could stop Laura Bumford Cleland from Coffs with 25 points. With the Galvin Bears getting a home victory against the Hawkesbury Jets. Getting close to the finals, let's check out the ladder. In Division I men's. The most highly anticipated game of the weekend. And this baby did not disappoint. The Wagga Heat went toe to toe with the Canberra Gunners, two sides who have been dominating all season. In a game that went down to the wire, the Canberra side came, saw, and conquered, leaving with a one point victory over their opponents. Gage Day and Sean Hare were outstanding for the home side, and Big Obi and Sean Mills getting on top for the Gunners. While the Lithgow Lasers 
have been quiet achievers in the league. Over the weekend, they were able to get their ninth straight win over the Illawarra Hawks in a tight one. Daniel Potter was best on court with 28 for the Hawks. The Tamworth Thunderbolts have broken the Newcastle Hunters' run of wins, getting the job done at home. Kyle Grumpton was best on court with 27 points. In remaining matches, Shoalhaven, Southwest, and Bankstown were all able to pick up the roadies, with the Central Coast Waves getting the job done at home. All right, with those results, now let's check it out and see how it affects the ladder. Now championship women. After trailing at halftime, Manly get the W. Kirsten Forbes led the scoring with 20 points at 70% from the field, and Rebecca Duke cleaned up with 13 points and 12 rebounds. A 29-point fourth quarter and Laura Nicholson's 23 was enough to send the Hawks back down the Prince's Highway. Hills took care of business against Bankstown. Once again, it was Bankstown shooting that let them down. Just 27% from the floor and only 12% outside the three-point line. Hornsby went to the rooftop and got a win in overtime and pick up the weekend split. Jamie Kennedy is flat out hooping. Check out this score line. 27 points, 17 rebounds, 8 assists, and 4 steals. Illawarra get the split also. Renee Garlip with 30 points and 7 boards for the Hawks, handing Newcastle their first loss. Now let's see how the ladder falls in this division. Now for championship men. Straight out of Crompton, dropped 31 points and 9 rebounds, while Daniel Hill went to the line 18 times to get his 26 points to help Sutherland over the Hawks. The Comets held the Central Coast at 31% from the field and got 26 and 10 out of Louis Brandt off the bench to pick up the roadie on the Central Coast. The Seagulls Luke Cooper was just two rebounds shy of a triple double. 17 points, 11 assists, and 8 rebounds. Dwayne Jordan had 21 points and 7 rebounds in just 19 minutes of court time for Manley over Hornsby. The Hunter had no problems over Maitland. Justin Hammond was the big dog once again with 31 points, and Rusty Hender doubled up with 15 and 15. Hills win a nail-biter over Bankstown thanks to Michael Claus' three-pointer with just eight seconds to go to pull ahead over Bankstown by one. That's some close games this weekend. Now let's have a look at the ladder. With a massive week of outstanding performances, let's see whose star has shined the brightest. Let's start off with the ladies. From championship women, Lauren Nicholson had 23 points for the Sutherland Sharks, and in Division I women's, it was the Maitland Mustangs' Carly Grayson. Now for the fellas. From championship men, in a Shire double, Brendan Crompton scored 31 points on the weekend, and in Division I men's, from the Illawarra Hawks, Daniel Potter. Don't forget to get your votes in and commenting on either our Facebook page or YouTube channel. And thanks to your votes last week, the winners from the Shoalhaven Tigers, Kate Denyer and Jason Taylor from the Central Coast Crusaders. That's about all the time we have for the wrap, but before I give you my quote, which I love to do, I'd like to congratulate Katie Ray Ebsery for making the Olympic squad. Now, remember, a river doesn't cut through a rock because it's powerful. It cuts through a rock because of its persistence. See you next time.